right, guys, welcome back. I'm sitting at Christian's desk. I just want to go over a couple of quick things about our website and also leading into what we're going to do. I've been pulling folders about scams. Scams are rampant, but they've been rampant. Um, each one of these folders here that I've pulled, you can see it's got an officer number here, a report number. I mean, just so many of them. I'm going to go through some of these for you guys because one of the last videos we did has gone semi-viral and I think it's super important because people don't realize how easily you can be taken advantage of um, whether you be a consumer, a dealer, a business owner, a body shop, a repair shop. It happens all the time. Being as we have so many vehicles posted, it seems like it happens to us a lot more often. Thankfully, we're able to see through it, but we also deal with equipment. We deal with ATVs. There's some very, very, very big items that can be fraudulent and stolen. But to our website, you'll notice this paragraph on our vehicles. It's very important. If you're viewing this on any platform other than Davis 4x4 or Davis Auto Sales, please go to those websites directly to view more photos, but also accurate information. And what that means is a lot of these scams start as people stealing our information and posting it for sale. Um, if you see the watermark on our picture and it's posted in Milwaukee or if it's posted in California, we're not in Milwaukee or California. We're in Richmond, Virginia, Chesterfield, Virginia. That's it. Um, so that is one big scam that's out there because we sell stuff that is desirable also. So people take those flashy pictures, use them as a scam. So if you go to our website and you see it on there, it's ours, not somebody else's. Also, for financing assistance, you can go onto our website please realize that a lot of the vehicles that we have don't qualify for that. Whether they be commercial, we have separate situations for commercial. Whether it be a classic, we have separate situations for classic. We'll help you through the process on any of them, but there are different ways that it can be done. Uh, we can provide a bill of sale, copy of title, whatever they request. We also ship to all 50 states and even outside the country. Now, if you're in Puerto Rico, which we have a situation right now, we're selling to a guy in Puerto Rico. He's got us paid, the car is secured in our sold section, um, but we'll get it assistance to a border uh, or a crossing or a port, but that's as far as we can go. The paperwork to go across the seas or across wherever has to be done by the owner. We'll also help expedite that paperwork, which we're very familiar. They're gonna need the real title, the real bill of sale. They're gonna need lots of copies of all that and we can help with that to make it really easy. Um, you can view all of our vehicles here, 250 to 300 vehicles in stock, trucks, SUVs, gas, diesel, work trucks, blah, blah, blah. This vehicle is at our address. Well, we have multiple facilities. We have multiple buildings. All are within a couple mile radius. So if you do show up or you do know you're coming for a specific vehicle, please always call and ask. Across the road, right now we've got some that are blocked in by 6, 8, 10, 12 vehicles. It will take a little bit of time. We'll get it out. But if you show up spur of the moment, we have other customers here, we may not be able to do it as quickly and uh, efficiently as you would like. So if you will reach out ahead of time and let us know about that, we'll be sure it's out, it's ready. If it's dusty, we'll rinse it off, you know, make sure it's easy for you. Um, but outside of this, when you go to our website, it's very easy to navigate. Uh, this is one that Christian's putting up right now. Uh, it's a 2013 60 foot material handling bucket truck. Um, very good truck. They've just gone and done a video. If you're watching this on Davis Drives, realize we also have Davis Auto Sales VA. That's the channel that Christian does. Every vehicle we post has a video. It may not be one of the detailed videos with me touching it and riding it and driving it and all the other stuff, but every single vehicle for the last 90 days and forward has a video. We may not have caught up on any that are older than that, but all of them have a video. This one actually shows the bucket in operation with Mike, which is pretty much the expert on our bucket trucks, knows how to use them, knows how to operate them. He's also the only one that's not too fearful to go up to 60 foot or 100 foot or however far they go. But our descriptions are very detailed. It shows the miles, shows the information. Um, did you edit the miles on this one, Christian? Yes. Okay, cool. So we make sure that all of them, we have a lot of these same ones, so they get a little confusing. That's why I had to ask him. Um, but everything has the model number. If you need the actual tag off the vehicle, we also take a picture of that. We have it in the folder. We can snap that right to you. The reason that's important, you may get a loan on the truck, but you also may need to get a loan on the body, which would be the body of a rollback or a wrecker or anything such as that. So that other information is important, sometimes for your bank. 
Um, so we'll tell you about the condition of the truck, tires, what we've done for service. And then if you do want to ask, we also all here have access to our service tickets and things like that. They're going to go through a Virginia safety inspection. We can send you that where all the boxes are checked. We can also let you know, did we do brakes? Did we do ball joints, kingpins, wheel bearings? You know, any of the other items that are common, we can also let you know. A lot of our Alltechs, because we do have a local Alltech dealer, are actually certified. Sometimes you need that, sometimes you don't. That's not a requirement depending on your business, whether you're doing work for the government. Sometimes it's required, sometimes it's not. Um, aside from that, things are pretty straightforward. Again, got a really good video coming to you guys. And when I say lots of documentation, lots, we've got a whole file drawer full of this stuff. So we're going through that kind of stuff and uh, pulling out some that are really good topics because you guys need to know. You're the consumer. Um, and it comes back to if it's too good to be true, it's not. I talked to the one guy I mentioned in the video before that actually had a felony against him for many, many, many years. He was able to finally get it expunged after going and showing he had a clear record, everything was good. Um, but he simply saw something on Craigslist. This was before Marketplace. It was a great deal. Everybody's a sucker for a good deal. He's a tree guy. He needs equipment. He said, why not? I need this. He went and bought it with cash money got a bill of sale, did everything he thought he was supposed to do until weeks later the police come knocking and he is in ownership and possession of stolen goods. He didn't steal them. He had money to go buy a brand new one, but he bought something he thought was a great deal for a great price, got a bill of sale, got a real unit. Um, he even reminded me prior to that there was another big Craigslist scam where people were showing like brand new Kabuta tractors or brand new John Deere tractors and they were like half price. And it was like, you know, import deal, open box special, you know, something like that. And he almost fell for that by wiring money to this unsuspecting person. Again, these things were rampant back in the day. They're still rampant today. But one of the big comments was, why don't you guys report it to the police? The last one I brought y'all. And the reason that we don't every day now is because we have something come across every day. Every day there's an email. There's a phone call. There's something that leads to a basic scam. We have reported and reported and reported and reported and reported, I mean, as many as you can imagine, over the years. And, um, you know, they don't have the time. I mean, unfortunately, they can run down leads, but unless I had the guy here standing here in handcuffs with all the paperwork, I mean, they really they can't do but so much, unfortunately. Um, we give them as much as we can, but a lot of these are also, and I actually talked to one of the investigators in length, and I said, uh, what, you know, what can be done better? You know, because some people did say, why don't you do this? Why don't you do this? Well, we question ourselves, so I called one of the investigators, and he said, look, most of the time it's out of the country. Uh, it's untraceable. They can't do anything. Their hands are tied, Chesterfield especially, so we just don't have the staff for it. He said, even if we did, we can't jurisdictionalize other countries. Um, so most of the roots of these come from other areas, though there is local criminals too. So a little background on that, full episode coming there, but the website's very, very user-friendly, davis4x4.com, davisautosales.com, and please understand to call ahead of time to view these vehicles, uh, just to make sure they're not in our service shop, they're not in an inspection shop, they're not in a detail shop, and um, love to help you guys out. So thanks, stay tuned, check the website anytime.